If you're looking to add a Gucci bag to your collection, make sure you keep watching this video because I'm going to be revealing 17 of the cheapest Gucci bags that are worth buying in 2023. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll be revealing which one I think is the best. Hey everyone, Steph here. Of course, as always, I will pop links in the description box for you so that you can shop this video super easily. The first bag, which costs less than $1,000 from Gucci, is the Mini Ophidia bag. Bag. Now I will say this, Gucci refers to a lot of bags as mini, but I would describe them actually a lot of the time as small bags. So a lot of the mini bags from Gucci can easily fit a phone inside, a small card holder, some keys, and maybe a few everyday essentials. Whereas some other brands, when they refer to mini, they really do mean mini. Now this one retails at exactly $990 in the US, £775 in the UK, and I love it. It is just so Gucci. We have the Gucci print on the front, and we also have the stripes running down the center of the bag in either green or red or you can get the blue version as well. We have the small GG on the front again so you know it's Gucci. It has a top handle and of course a cross body or shoulder strap. It also has two compartments which I think is great. It has a larger compartment at the back and a smaller one at the front. This would be great for adventure days out. You know if you just want to take a few little things with you, you don't want something too heavy if you're going out for a walk, if you're heading to a festival and you don't want to take too much with you. I think this is a really great size bag. The cheapest one on our list today. The second bag I would say is a classic evening bag. It is just so elegant. This is a super mini Dionysus bag. Now again, this one retails at $990 in the US, around £805 in the UK. Now the canvas version with the GG logo on is the cheapest version of this bag. However, there are all leather options as well. So if you want more of a solid color, you don't want the logo everywhere, it retails at about £40 more in the UK for an all leather version. So I definitely think an option to consider. The Dionysus bag has been worn by royalty such as Kate Middleton and I can see why it is such a classic piece especially if you go for an all leather version you don't have the logo everywhere you just have the beautiful detail on the front you can also get ones with like gems in this but obviously they will be more expensive as well but just to add a little bit more bling to the look now this one is described as a super mini bag and from the pictures it does look smaller than the mini Ophidia bag that we have just seen it looks like you might be able to get a normal size iPhone or mobile phone in here for example but a plus size you might be struggling. This one for me I can see this working really great as an evening bag so long as you didn't have too much to carry with you. For me hands down if you are seriously considering this bag it has just been released in an emerald green. It has emerald green jewels in the detail and it is £40 in the UK more expensive than the canvas version. I really did expect the all leather versions to be way more expensive than they are but the price difference isn't that much and I definitely think worth it. The third bag is the Ophidia GG mini bag. Now this is more of a moon shaped bag and it retails at $1,050, $730 pounds in the UK. Now some of you might have noticed, especially if you are looking at the UK price, that these aren't in order because this bag is cheaper than the Dionysus bag that we've just gone through but I have ranked these based on the US dollar price, so the cheapest and up from there. Now the Ophidia GG mini bag is perfect if you are looking for a small little grab and go shoulder bag. I love the detail on the side, it has GG on the side of the bag so you can tell it's Gucci and it also features the colours running along the bottom of the bag so the green and the red which I just think adds a really nice touch to this piece. It has a zipper closure so it is secure and you can adjust slightly the strap if you wanted it on a longer or shorter setting. The only downside to this bag is, and I think this is a real shame, it doesn't look like it comes with an extendable strap with it so you cannot crossbody it. It is just for the shoulder or to wear on the crook of your arm. You can get this in the brown, red and green colorway but you can also get it in the blue colorway as well. Bag number four features the jumbo print from Gucci which is one of my favorites. This is the Jumbo GG mini bag. So this is like a camera style bag with a zip opening to it and it features the Jumbo GG print which was only released from the brand a few years ago now so I still feel like this print looks quite 
fresh. Now you have the strap, which is the green and red color combination. It looks like you can fully adjust this strap so you could wear it crossbody or as a shoulder piece. I think this one would be just so easy to grab and go. And also, you know, if you're out shopping, this has a zip closure to keep everything secure inside of the bag. I think you might have a pocket as well on the front of this one, so you could slide your phone inside of there, but I love a zip closure for the security of them. And the fact that when you've got them on crossbody, you can open your bag out and grab everything you need. So just a really easy style of bag to use. This one retails at $1,150 in the US and £815 in the UK. Bag number five. And I have to say, at this point, I am super impressed with Gucci's variety offering, especially at the lower end of what they provide. We've had a camera bag, we've had like a small crossbody bag, and now we have a bucket bag. This is the Gigi Marmont mini bag. So this is an all leather bag. It features the Gigi logo on the front and chevron stitching. It has a gorgeous gold chain detail. By the way, guys, this comes in a variety of colors. And you wear this one crossbody. It has a drawstring closure so it's not as secure as a zipper but I think this is just the cutest little bucket bag at a really great price point for an all leather designer bag. So this gorgeous little bucket bag retails at $1,150 in the US and £855 in the UK. Perfect for those spring summer evenings. The next bag definitely doesn't fail what I've just said. Another really different kind of style of bag. This is the quilt quilted GG top handle bag. So the top handles are kind of made into the bag and then we have the GG logo which is almost stitched into the leather creating like a pillow effect. It also comes with a longer strap so that you can crossbody this because of course the little top handle handles probably aren't actually going to be that useful. This little bag that I think is quite unique retails at $1,100 in the US and £785 in the UK. Personally, I really like the black version of this. I just love the way that the leather looks with the stitching. It has one big compartment and I like big compartments like this because it means you can generally fit any size of phone in here, a small card holder, and a few everyday essentials. Bag number seven on our list is another one from the Marmont range, which is so well known from Gucci. Now this is the mini top handle bag, and it's kind of like a vanity style bag, but a mini version of it. And I really like that Gucci have thought about this because you wear this bag generally as a crossbody bag, although you could use it with the top handle as well, but for actual use every day, the crossbody strap would be really useful. And they haven't made the bag too wide because vanity bags can generally stick out. They're quite boxy styles of bags, but this one's actually quite thin. So I think this one will work really well as a crossbody. This one has a chain strap, which I don't believe is removable from the bag, but with a bag like this, you are definitely going for the style, the look of the bag more than you are practicality because they can be harder to get into as well. It does have a zip closure. This one retails at $1,200 in the US and £845 in the UK. It does come in a variety of colors. Bag number eight. So we've had a bucket bag, we've had messenger bags, we've had like a mini vanity case. And now my friends, we have a belt bag, which is a adorable. This is the Ophidia Utility Belt Bag and it has two pouches on it. So you have the green and red strap which goes round and does up and then you have two pouches on this strap so you can take one off, you could use it separately, you could wear both of them at the same time and you get a rectangle pouch and also a heart shaped pouch. And it actually looks like a heart because some brands do heart bags and they don't really look like hearts. I like this one, very, very cute. You've got the Gigi logo on the front and the straps running down the front of them. You have this in the canvas with the Gigi logo on. This one for me would work great at, again, a festival if you are traveling around and you want to keep something close to your body and you also don't want to be weighed down like on your shoulders as you're moving by your things. The belt bag retails at $1,200 in the US and 845 pounds in the UK. And I could definitely see myself using the little heart pack as a coin purse or something like that in other bags as well. So a very versatile piece. Bag number nine is the Gucci Horsebit 1955 bag. And I feel like this is probably one of the most regal, classiest bags we have seen on this list so far. So it features the famous Gucci Horsebit on the front. And this one does come in the canvas. So you can tell it's Gucci because it has the GG print on. But with the Horsebit, it just feels a little bit more low key. It has a shoulder 
shoulder and cross body strap that I don't believe you can remove from the bag. It is very much a piece that you are meant to wear as a cross body. It features one big compartment inside and I believe a non-detachable strap which you can adjust so you can get different lengths which is great when you're wearing something like this cross body. It retails at $1,200 and £880 in the UK. You can also get this in a beige colorway as well if you wanted something a bit lighter for spring summer. Bag number 10 is one that has been super popular over the years. This is the Marmont Super Mini Bag. Now this is an all leather bag and it does come in a variety of colors, but again, super mini, so a small bag. I think a normal iPhone would fit inside here, a card holder and a few other little bits, but definitely not much else. For me, this would 100% be an evening bag because it is such a small size. You have the GG on the front and it comes in a variety of colors. My favorite is the dusty pink. I think it works so well with the gold hardware. This one retails at $1,200, £975 in the UK. The next bag is another belt bag and I think it is so fun. This is the Jumbo GG small belt bag and the color that you can see here is this bright orange. So the Jumbo GG print is actually embossed into the leather of the bag. So this is a full leather bag again. It retails at $1,250 in the US, £835 in the UK. This really is a simple belt bag or bum bag and Louis Vuitton had a bum bag. Let me grab mine to show you. So this was it. It was incredibly popular and Louis Vuitton actually discontinued it. It was also quite a bit more expensive than this Gucci one and this is canvas whereas the Gucci one is leather. I also love that it has a zipper on the front of it whereas as you can see here the zipper is hidden on the Louis Vuitton one and it can be a bit of a pain to actually get into so I appreciate that on the Gucci version. This one will be perfect for those adventure days, going to festivals and again if you're at like a theme park or something like that and want to keep things close to you without having to be weighed down by an actual bag. This one will be a solid choice if you like getting out and about and like I've said before if you don't want something weighing you down and you want to keep your belongings close to you. The next bag on our list retailing at $1,250 865 pounds in the UK is the half moon mini bag. Now if you are into your mini shoulder bags this could be a really serious contender because you can adjust the strap as you wear it on your shoulder and it also has a really beautiful chain detail so if you want to dress it up a little bit more in the evening I like that touch. It has what appears to be a pocket on the front of the bag so you could easily slip your phone inside of here if you'd like to get it in and out but it also features a zip closure so again really great for security. And you can use the chain strap to wear this as a shoulder and cross body bag which I think is great. Like these little shoulder bags, they're easy to grab and go. But for me personally, if I'm out and about for quite a few hours, I don't want to have to keep maneuvering something around on my shoulder. That just feels really frustrating. So the fact you can cross body this, I think is probably the best half moon shaped bag we've seen so far. The next bag on our list is one of my favorites, but it's not my favorite version of this bag because that one didn't quite make the cut in terms of one of the cheapest Gucci bags. But this is the Aphrodite mini shoulder bag. It features a double GG on the front and the bag again is made from all leather and it comes in so many amazing colors. Personally the bright green with the gold hardware looks amazing on this bag. This one retails at $1,290 in the US, £965 in the UK. It does have an adjustable strap to wear on your shoulder or in the crook of your arm and also a zip closure to keep things secure. However I would highly advise although it hasn't made it into the cheapest Gucci bags list the next size up of this bag. I think it looks better, it's slightly bigger and it also comes with an, an additional strap so that you can cross body and shoulder the bag if you want a longer shoulder bag and it also has a chain strap with it as well so if you wanted to wear it into the evening you could use the chain strap with it. I think the Aphrodite in the next size up is so versatile, definitely one of my favorites but for the sake of this video the mini size makes it to the list. Bag number 14 on our list is another shoulder bag. This is the Ophidia small bag. You can get this in two color options I believe at the moment so you can get it in the white Gucci supreme print and you can also get a tan version as well. It features 
features two GGs on the front of the bag and Gucci Supreme canvas. It has an adjustable shoulder strap you so you can get a different length that you like and a zip closure for security. So similar to the other shoulder bags that we've seen so far. I would say that the look of this bag is kind of a bit more vintage, a bit more retro. You've got the Gucci Supreme everywhere. It's quite low key, but obviously you can tell it is still a Gucci bag. This one retails at $1,290 in the US, £865 in the UK. The next bag on our list looks like it could be an absolute workhorse of a bag. It retails at $1,390 in the US, £980 in the UK. This is the Ophelia GG small shoulder bag. Now I would say this is definitely a crossbody bag and it's kind of shaped almost like a saddle. So it looks like it's going to be able to fit quite a lot inside even though it's described as a small bag. I have no doubt you'll be able to get a bottle of water in here or your everyday essentials and maybe even like a small notebook, a small iPad. So you could actually use this as a work bag potentially. It has a zip closure and the strap is adjustable so you can get it to the right length for you. It has the GG on the front of the bag so you can very much tell this is a Gucci piece and it also has the green and red stripes running through it as well. Bag number 16 on our list is one that actually as soon as I saw that this was released I gravitated towards it and had to try it on. This is the Gucci half moon bag. It retails at $1,400 in the US and £965 in the UK and this again is an all leather shoulder bag. We've seen a lot of shoulder bags now in this price bracket but this one is definitely one of my favourites. We have the GG on the front we have the chevron stitching but it's not too loud it's not too in your face you can adjust the strap with an extender so you can actually cross body this bag and again you've got the chain strap as well so this would look quite dressy in the evening if you were to use that zip closure we have all the security there and it's very simple it just has leather on the bottom of the bag i think this one looks great when it's worn on the crook of the arm but also as a crossbody so a super versatile piece and again it comes in quite a few different colors so you can find one that suits you and finally before i reveal my favorite out of this list and please do get involved in the comments down below because i would love to know yours bag 17 then. This is a tote bag. I have a slight confession to make. There was another shoulder bag that was slightly cheaper than this tote bag, which technically should have made this list. But I realized we've had a lot of shoulder bags in the video. And in terms of the bags that are worth buying, I know a lot of you will be looking for a tote bag because they are just so versatile. They are great for work, travel, vacation. So I wanted to include this one. It is the Ophidia Medium Tote Bag. It retails at $1,650 in the US, $1,200 130 pounds in the UK. It has the GG on the front and features the Supreme canvas. But the thing that I love about this tote bag, and it rivals brands like Louis Vuitton, for example, is that you get two sets of straps on this bag. So you get some smaller top handle ones and you get some longer ones to wear this tote on your shoulder. Now with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, for example, I have one down here. You only get one set of straps and that is the slightly longer set of straps. So I like that you could just grab this bag and go, but you can also wear it on your shoulder if you wanted to. You can also so get this tote bag in all leather but it is a little bit more expensive than the canvas one but if you want to keep your look low key and canvas is not your thing this could be a really good option. Now I promised at the start of the video that I would reveal my favourite out of these 17 most affordable cheapest Gucci bags and this has definitely been probably one of the hardest ones to actually choose my favorite because there is such a variety here. I think it really depends on what you want the bag to actually be used for. So just taking into consideration my collection, the one that I think I like the most that would work quite well in my collection because I don't really have a similar sized bag would be the Horsebit 1955. I feel like this is quite an elegant looking bag. You can wear it cross body and personally I would take this one I think out shopping with me when I didn't need to carry too much. However, I will say if the small size Aphrodite, not the mini one, was featured in this list I would definitely choose that because I think it's such a really great looking bag and just so versatile like Gucci have genuinely thought about everything when it comes to this one so if you do have a bit more budget and you're considering the Aphrodite in the small size would actually be the one that I would most like. Wow what a range of bags honestly I am blown away and I currently 
don't have any Gucci bags in my collection, but I'm definitely looking to add some. And I think if you are new to buying luxury designer bags in general, Gucci has a better entry price point than a lot of other brands. Let me know your favorite in the comments down below. And if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one, the cheapest bags from some of our favorite luxury brands. As a reminder, I have linked all the bags in the description box down below for you so that you can head over to the Gucci site and shop them there. But don't go anywhere because coming up next, I have some more cheapest bags from some of our favorite brands, including Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Enjoy.